right? That's right, Dan. With the current conditions, officials say this fire had the potential to grow up to a thousand acres. That's why it was all hands on deck when it came to knocking it down. All of a sudden I saw smoke and plumes of smoke and fire um, flames shooting up. Susan Coffey watched the Pozo fire engulf 35 acres of her property from the perspective of her house just up the road. So got really concerned. She sprung into action, moving her horses and cattle out of harm's way. And tied them up by the main house to keep them from roaming around. Meanwhile, fire crews were attacking the blaze from the ground and the sky. So we sent everything we had to this fire. With the major fires going on around the state, the, the philosophy was to get this thing, hit it hard, and put this thing out fast. The firefighter with Cal Fire was injured when a tree fell on him. Uh, he was uh, listed in fair condition and transported to a local hospital for uh, evaluation. It was one of many trees succumbing to the flames along the hillside, a danger fire crews face on nearly every fire. The trees behind us on the hillside are still very drought stricken trees. Uh, some of them are very weak. Uh, fire just adds one more issue that they need to contend with. Tonight, Susan is thankful the damage was stopped at 35 acres. Kudos to the firefighters for having jumped on it. The charred land serving as a reminder fire season is still here. Uh, and this is uh, completely possible anywhere in the state at this point. At least four agencies fought the blaze along with a dozen fire engines, eight air tankers, two helicopters, along with bulldozers, water tenders, and hand crews. A big effort to keep this fire small. Live in the studio, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News.